Um, sorry for my very rough, unshaven, ill-kept state. Um, well, the problem is quite simply I've been building. And when I build, I tend to let just all the, all the little bits vanish and don't get dealt with. So I'm looking a little bit ill-kept and probably a bit smelly, but that will be dealt with soon. Now, what I wanted to have a quick chat to you about um, what, and what I've been building is my cappy. Now, it, it's not actually the cappy I want to talk to you about, but rather the Furious FPV F35 flight controller, which, if you can see, I've popped in here. Now, um, essentially, what I wanted to bring to your attention is just how good this flight controller is. You know, to date, I've, I've always used things like um, the Matic F401 with iNav, maybe the F7 board, and they're all pretty good. But you know what? There's a lot of soldering. There's just a lot of faffing about to make it work. So um, when, I, when I bought my cappy over here, there we go, lovely cappy again. Um, so when I bought the cappy, I saw some pictures with the F35 flight controller in it, and I thought, well, <laughs> you know, I'm always a creature of habit. I've stuck with what I know works. Let me try something different. And my word, am I impressed. You know, the F35 is honestly the most polished iNav install I have ever done. You know, to, 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 to give you an idea about this, now, you've got the controller sitting over here, and you'll notice there's all these little plugs. So with, with the kit, you get the pitot, which is great. You get all of the cables. So you have a predefined cable, which you plug in here, and it fits the run cam. Fantastic. You've got a cable which automatically plugs into the GPS. You've got a cable which plugs into the Bluetooth. You know, you've got servo ports for doing things. It's, it couldn't actually be any easier. This, this entire model, you know, now I had the plug and play cappy, which a day or two back I put the ailerons and things like that on, but I tackled getting the airspeed, the receiver, which is out here on the wing, and the flight controller and camera installed. I've still got to do the VTX. Um, that's slightly more faffing for me because I've got to get um, the Arcbird tracker module fitted into here. But you know what? It took just under an hour for all of this to be done. And, and that wasn't, you know, that's included actually configuring the flight controller with the radio and everything in it. I'm kind of blown away. You know, I have to say that Furious have done a fantastic job and please Furious never take this product off the market because I personally will be using it for every build that I do in future. You know, it is just absolutely fantastic. So if you haven't tried one, I would highly recommend it. Now, from my side, I grabbed mine from, ooh, I think it was Unmanned Tech in the UK. Ben could have them. There's lots of options. Um, they sold all over the place. But highly recommended. This is just, wow. You know, the easiest install I've ever had to do with no soldering. It's just been brilliant. Anyway, cheers, guys. Have a good day.